Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Mace, thank you for joining me here in my little slice of cyberspace, my little corner of the internet that you happen to click on and the pixels are aligning in perfect unison for this video because we're going back to Angelina Jordan, one of the absolute best jazz singers, singers in general, um, especially for her age, she's only 14 just now. This video looks like it was a few years ago um, of At Last. Of course, um, I can't sing it um, as Angelina would do it, but obviously an iconic, very, very classic song. It's um, escaping my mind exactly who made this song first, who recorded or um, produced it in the first. But anyways, it's a classic, and I haven't seen it done by Angelina yet, so I'm excited to get to it. She's so, 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 so amazing just incredible um so yeah let's get to it angelina jordan at last it's a very very classic song i'm happy we're back it's been a it's been a week or two since an angelina video so we might get to a couple more uh tonight girlfriend's coming over so we might review a couple songs we'll see how it goes um as always leave any recommendations down below and leave um, any comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. You can go to the Facebook page as well. Send me requests, messages there. Ask me anything. Come hang out. And also Instagram there. All of that is in the links or in the description. Let's get to this at last. Angelina, let's check it out. Let's check it out, folks. Let's check it out. So she's in Scandinavia somewhere, I'm guessing, for this one. Norway? Yes, I know she's from Norway, but not sure where she's performing. Oh my god, already! Man, her voice, like every time. This is, okay, 19. Okay, At Last is a 1941 song written by Mac Gordon and Harry Warren for the musical film Orchestra of Wives starring George Montgomery and Anne Rutherford. It was performed in the film and on record by Glenn Miller and his orchestra. So interesting backstory about the actual song right there. This video was posted in 2015, so five years ago already. So that means Angelina is just nine years old right here, which is just bonkers, crazy, and, and it's prodigy, prodigy level. Like, just listen to that first note, man. It's crazy. It's so, so perfect. Her pitch, just everything. That rasp, Angelina's beautiful little rasp. And it looks like this performance is to do with another humanitarian effort of some kind. I see uh, a country in the background, some people that look like um, they need some help. So, and I see the thing in the corner there. So hopefully they, I'm not sure what they're doing, but. I know she's, she's a very, very, uh, she speaks up for, you know, social issues and is definitely a, 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 a warrior for you know, poverty, to fight, um, I should say, income inequality and, and um, just any sort of uh, inequality that we're going through right now. Hey, 
Yes. That was chill. Chill factor right there. Chill factor. 100% chill factor. Alien playlist. Add it. Aliens. I'm adding it to the playlist. Make sure. Yeah, I'll send you the updated link. It's coming. It's coming to you. So, let's get ready. Ah, that was chills. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Angelina nailed it. Nailed it. Um, wow, what a talented individual. It, it never ceases to amaze me, basically, at this point. Um, I know what she can do. So it's just very, very cool to sort of monitor and... Uh, be uh, advised of her newer stuff her newer tracks but also you can go back and find these performances when she was younger too and uh, you can find performances of her when she's like two years old i bet which are better than most singers like two-year-old angelina you know is probably better than most <laughs> um but i hope she doesn't like get too too big i don't know like what her career her career is gonna look like if um like, this is just a far cry from any sort of reality ever happening. I don't know if she'd be touring, like, North American cities, for instance. Canadian cities, for instance. Because I was just thinking to myself, that, man, how how memorable would it be to see her in a live performance, you know, in a dark-lit venue and, and just enjoy that music right there uh, live, in a live setting would be... You know, it just brings that sort of closeness and intimacy of the performance, which is a little bit different than getting through a, you know, pixelated computer monitor and headphones. There's something amazing about a live performance. So I don't know if that's a possibility. I'm sure it is at some point because she's going to get real popular. Um, just hopefully, like, if she did, per se, like, it, she did tour here, hopefully the concert wouldn't be too crazy. I just tried to get concert tickets the other day um, for Rage Against the Machine. The, uh, you know, the heavy rock band, classic, you know, heavy rock band. And they're opening, or sorry, they uh, had Run the Jewels opening. One of my favorite rap groups um, currently out there doing it. And the ticket prices were astronomically ridiculous. Like, just ridiculous, man. I saw people, okay, they were starting at $170 a ticket for nosebleed seats. And I said, like, really? Like, come on, man. I guess the days of seeing uh, Run the Jewels are over. Maybe at a festival or something in the near future. But hopefully if Angelina rolled through town, she'd be at like a smaller, more intimate venue. And uh, the tickets would be more reasonable, I'm sure. Um, my girlfriend saw Morissette Amon a year, just last year, um, in Vancouver. And the tickets were reasonable. It was that the venue wasn't, you know, it wasn't a huge venue. So it still retained that sort of uh experience and that that touching sort of closeness the the intimacy of the performance uh as opposed to being you know hundreds of feet away in a giant stadium and you can't even make out any uh physical you know facial features on the artist you can, they're like a speck like a dot and it's the audio quality is not the same and those are cool too don't get me wrong i saw the red hot chili peppers uh in a concert um, arena style format, and that was it was cool, it was amazing. But my best um, live performance memories are at either festivals in sort of a very very unique sort of eclectic venues, or at smaller smaller venues. I've seen some some of my favorite artists, and I've been able to reach out and touch them. Like the stage is just a smaller type stage, and 
that's amazing. So anyways, as always, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It was nice to reminisce and go back to a little bit of Angelina Jordan um, back when she was just nine years old, which is, as always, that's craziness. Um, but yeah, so we'll see you all soon. Any recommendations down below? And yeah, peace out, everybody. Bye-bye.